David Neal. Um, I'm from Camden, North Carolina. I graduate class 2023, and I'm 16. Uh, what position do you play? Uh, tight end and defensive end. And what's the name of your high school? Camden County High School. All right, man, talk to me about today's workout. Oh, man, it was rough. <laughs> First time I threw up in a workout in probably eight years. What, what was so physically exhausting about today's workout? Uh, the footwork. Definitely all the footwork. It was nothing but footwork. Well, I have to commend you for working hard and not quitting out there. Uh, is that the type of mentality that you have on the football field? <laughs> yes, sir. If you throw up, you throw up in your helmet, you keep playing. <laughs> what it is. All right. Uh, just talk to me about what, you, what you've been doing this all season. I've been working out twice a day, probably the whole coronavirus vacation thing. Uh, and since June, since July 6th, I've been working out three times a day with basketball, football, and weightlifting after all that. When you're doing all of those type of things, what does that do for your, uh, your physical and your mental? Mentally, it makes me feel better. I love lifting. I don't feel right if I'm not lifting for a long amount of time. I can go maybe a week. Um, but physically, I like how I feel after, you know, a good leg day, you can barely walk around, that feels good to me. Talk to me about Camden. Uh, it's a small town, probably about 8,000 people in it. Uh, I think we had 40 seniors. Our high school probably had about 360 kids. Now, do a lot of people get Camden, North Carolina confused with Camden, New Jersey? It happens all the time. You type in Camden location, Camden, New Jersey, Camden, Georgia, Camden, South Carolina. We're like the bottom one. <laughs> All right, well, talk to me about the, give me a, little, a brief history of Camden football, High School football. Uh, I think we went to a championship in like 20-something years ago. We were really good, and then it, it's such a small area that we had to, some people had to move out, and they all went to the city, Elizabeth City, and they played for Northeastern. So now they're dominating, and we're, we're getting there. We're working our way back up. Well, talk to me about your team's progress. Oh, we've definitely improved. We had a new head coach last year, and we won our first game in 777 days. That felt pretty good. We've, everyone's been in the weight room, pretty much everybody that's playing. Talk to me about the brotherhood of Camden football. Oh, man, we're all really tight-knit. We all hang out with each other outside of school. It doesn't matter what race, where you're from, whatever background. None of that matters. We all hang out together. What's your motivation to play football? It's my favorite thing to do. I've played it probably since I was six, five or six years old. I just love the game. I always love hitting people. It's just what it is. How has football changed your life in open doors? Uh, well, I used to be this kind of, I wouldn't say I was tall and I had some chub on me and now I'm, you know, I'm bigger. <laughs> Felt better. What do you want coaches to know about you? Uh, I have a 4.0 GPA. I have, I take honors in science, math, and history, and I got A's in all of those. Uh, my weighted GPA is a 4.13. Talk to me about the importance of having high, a high GPA and doing what you're supposed to do in the classroom. Oh, it's super important to me because I know no D1 college is going to take you with a 2.3 GPA or none of that. 